Hey guys, it's Erica, and I am here to share with you guys um, some few cards that I made and just uh, some random small hauls. Uh, sorry, I had to close the door to my craft room because I don't know if my husband's going to get up and start making noise. Um, but anyways, I really haven't been doing too much crafting lately just because I've been working crazy hours at work. I've actually been working six days a week for the past few weeks because it's been really busy at my job. Um, so I haven't really been doing too much of anything. Uh, but I did make like three, these three cards over the past few weeks. So I just wanted to share with you and I have been like buying little things here and there and using them. Um, so that's why I wanted to share with you what I have purchased so that I can uh, just put this stuff away. Because I don't know about you guys, but I'm not a messy crafter. Like, I know a lot of people can do all their crafts and their desks and craft rooms are a wreck and they're perfectly fine with it. But that is not me. If it's a mess in here, I don't even want to come in here. So, anyways, enough chit-chatting. Uh, here we go. So... I have this really, really, really pretty stamp that I had got from Tuesday morning. It's by Inca Dinka, Inca Dinka Do, right? Yeah, it's called Inca Dinka Cling. It's a cling stamp, and it's really, really pretty. It's got a lot of detail. It's a butterfly, and you can see it's got, like, birds and flowers. Like, there's, like, squirrels right there. Really, really, really pretty detail in the stamp. And I had never used it before, so I decided I was going to use it and just kind of play around. I wanted to do some um, water coloring. So, oh, where's... So the first one that I did, I used these uh, watercolors. They're the pearlescent um, watercolors that I ordered off uh, joannes.com like the first time that I really played with it I really didn't like them but I think I was using too much water with these if you have them you can't use too much water because I don't know for me they worked a lot better and they were a lot more vibrant if I just used a little bit of water and like got made it like kind of thick does that make sense? Like, I kept the water in the pans and I kept swirling it around until it got pretty thick and then I used it. So, um, I liked that better. So, I used these watercolors and, um, I used, what paper did I use? Oh, if you guys remember, I, um, Oh, where is it? I'm sorry. I'm like all over the place here. Oh, at Tuesday morning a few weeks ago, months ago, I don't know, I had bought this watercolor paper just in its uh, postcard size. It's four by six and I just wanted to try it. So this is the watercolor paper that I used and it works really good. It's probably, I would compare it to like the Tim Holtz uh, watercolor paper as far as like thickness and durability. It is rather textured. Um, on both sides um, you know like the one side is pretty it's smoother but it, it is rather textured on both sides my AC just kicked on it sounded really weird <laughs> so um, and also the paper is kind of a creamy cr uh, like a creamier white color not uh, a true bright white uh, those are just my observations. So here is the card. Uh, let me see if I can bring it up closer. You can really see like the pearlescent effect. What I did was that I embossed it with black embossing powder, um, which I really, really liked. And I think when I'm going to, when I'm going to be using watercolors to color images, I'm going to start, um, embossing with black embossing powder or whatever color embossing powder um, because it seems to contain the color in the lines better and I just I like how it looks it looks a lot better so I use like blues and greens and oranges and yellows and I try to just like blend it 
you know, it's a butterfly. It doesn't have to be perfect. I was just mostly just having fun. Um, and I thought that it came out really cute. And then I just uh, stamped down here. I didn't emboss this. It just says, hello, friend. And I backed it on some yellow recollections cardstock. And I thought that it came out pretty cute. So that is that one. And then I'll show you, compare it to this other one. So uh, a couple of weeks ago, I went to Hobby Lobby. I don't have a Hobby Lobby that's close to, excuse me, close to my house. Uh, there's two Hobby Lobbies and they're both about 45 minutes away. Uh, but I went to my girlfriend's house, uh, which in my previous video that I just uploaded with uh, my god kids opening the blind bags, I went to her house. And while I was there, we um, went to Hobby Lobby because there's one right by her house. And I picked up a few things there. Um, literally just only three things. Um, the first thing that I got was this watercolor paper and it is also four by six. It's by Master's Touch. It was $1.99 and I, and it says it's 140 pounds. Um, and I just wanted to try it. That's it. I just wanted to try different watercolor papers. This one is a lot more smooth on both sides and a truer white. Um, I did use a piece of this. Um, so yeah, I got that. And then I also got this Strathmore watercolor paper. Um, it is a cold press and I know that um, Christina Warner uses it. And this is just the five and a half by eight and a half. It's 140 pounds. It was $3 and 69 cents. I have not used it yet, um, but I wanted to try it and I didn't want to get like a big pad. Um, so this was kind of perfect just for me to kind of play and uh, just try it out. It does seem to be a lot more, more sturdy. Um, not necessarily thicker than the other watercolor papers, but just more sturdy and uh, uh, significantly uh, smoother. Um, so I'm going to be using this soon. So I have like five different watercolor pads that I have purchased recently and and are using, just testing them out. Um, I don't for, I don't really have a favorite. <laughs> I just want to test out different ones. Um, and then I got these watercolor, I already took them out and used them, but they were by the Fine Touch Watercolor Paint Pots. There's 18 colors with a brush, and it was $4.99, and I used a 40% off coupon. And um, they came in these little pots. Um, it reminds me of when I was a kid, what you know, the paints that came in these, but I haven't tried so far, like, liquid watercolor if that makes sense um i only have used the watercolor pencils or the markers or the pans not the liquid form and the brush that it came with is it this one no where is it oh it's right here the brush that came with this set i thought it was going to be a really cheesy cheap brush but i actually really like it i've been using the heck out of it um, it's actually a really decent quality and um, I like it a lot. So that brush came with this. Um, so that's all I picked up from Hobby Lobby and this paint is what I used um, to paint this card. Uh, it was It's the same image um, and I just watercolored it. This was with the this paper pad right here, the one I got at Hobby Lobby, and I, I kind of stamped it crooked, but it's not a big deal. Again, I um, embossed it, and I used the, the paint, and let me tell you, I mean, look, you can really tell the difference. Like, this is so much brighter, and it just blended a lot better, a lot easier. Um, it didn't give me, like, a chalky finish, um, but... Uh, yeah, I, there's no buts. I really, really enjoyed it playing with it. Um, so here you can kind of see a side by side comparison. Um, I hope you can tell that this one, it's the paper's more of a brighter white, and you can kind of see the texture more on that paper. Um, and then this is an Allie Edwards stamp. It just says, Thinking of You Always. 
Um, so yeah, I really like how this one turned out. It just looked really, really pretty. Uh, also, I did a little just, whoops. I did a little just playing with the with these paints right here to show you guys just how bright and how amazing these paints are and see how they you know blend out really good like here at the top is just like the pure paint and then I just used water and I just you know it's still even when it's blended out it's really bright and these are all the colors and then my scribbles don't worry about that um, so anyways, yeah, these are the colors. They're really pretty. <clears throat> so, yep, yeah, that was that. And then I made this card right here. And I think that I used, I'm sorry, I'm like bouncing back and forth. I think that I used, uh, these paints to paint these two little crabs. Um, just so you can see, there's no chalky finish. It just, it came out smooth and really, really nice. Okay. And then I made this card right here. This is the last one that I made. I just did a background with stamps and I painted them with the, uh, the liquid watercolors. I did add some of the uh, glitter pens that I have the what are they called these right here the jelly roller the jelly roll pens I added it to get the sparkles and then I embossed just thinking of you right here because I didn't want to take away from the background so I just did it with some vellum so those were the three cards that I made and uh, I do have a little bit more of a haul. Um, let me just make sure you guys saw that. This is for my friend Jackie. She really likes sunflowers, so I'm going to send her this card. All right. Um, so that was my Tuesday, or I'm sorry, my Hobby Lobby haul. Just those two uh, watercolor pads and the paint. And then just randomly one day, this is like going to be a long video, I'm sorry. Uh, randomly I picked up these jelly or gel roller pens from the Dollar Tree. Um, I had seen some really good reviews on them and I got the regular ones that don't have glitter. But I wanted to quickly, there we go, to kind of see what they these looks like with the glitter hmm they're pretty nice actually I want to show you guys something so these are the the ones from the Dollar Tree, right? They're really sparkly, but look at this. <laughs> this is going to be kind of funny. So these are the um, the jelly rollers. Is that what they call it? Yeah, jelly rolls. I have a few of the same colors. I want to say that the Dollar Tree ones are maybe maybe they are uh, a little bit more sparkly or just as sparkly like yeah seriously look at that the blues are exactly the same like same exact shade of blue and everything and then there's purple and then the pink, I obviously had a lighter shade of pink, but yeah, the sparkle is exactly the same. So the jelly rolls are what, like a dollar something each. And um, these right here came from the Dollar Tree for a for dollar, so 25 cents each. So great that, I mean, these are a great deal. 
So if you can find them at the Dollar Tree, I definitely recommend them. Um, and this is what the packaging looks look like. Gel Roller EFX. So I feel like they, that's a great deal. They seem like to be really good pens. Okay, and then, um, sorry for the crinkle. I gotta make this quick. I went to Tuesday morning, I don't even know when, a uh, week ago or so, and just picked up a few things. I got two of these, uh, red, uh, double-sided, super sticky red tape by American Crafts. I wanted to try them. There's not that much on the roll for two bucks. I don't know. I think I could have gotten a better deal somewhere else. I got these, um, embellishments uh, for 99 cents. My husband and I are going on vacation next week, so I thought these would be uh, really cute to do some layouts when we get back. I got this it's from the Maggie Holmes uh, open book collection. It is the frames, chipboard frames. This is what they look like. I like using these and layouts and all of Maggie Holmes' stuff really matches well, so it doesn't matter that I don't have that specific line. And then I got these paint brushes. They're a little bit pricey, um, but they are, I want to say this Princeton is a really good brand, but it's the, um, the rounds number two. It says use with acrylic oil and watercolor. So I got, came with three. That's what I got at Tuesday morning. And then at Michael's, I just got just a few things. I found this deco foil on clearance for $1.99. It's the red one. Um, yeah, I still need to play with the ones that I got. I tried the Martha Stewart ones, but it didn't work. So, I don't know. Maybe I did something wrong. I got these two stamps that were on the $1.50 bin. It says Life's a Beach, and I got that one because I got these. I thought this would be cute for like a background, and then this could be the sentiment for the card or whatever. And then I got these uh, fine liner pen set. I don't know why I've just been into buying pens. I don't know, whatever. They were $4.99, and I used a 40% uh, off coupon. So I got those, and then I got six frames. These were only a dollar, so I got three of these white square ones, one yellow rectangle, and two green round ones. I intend on spray painting them all and using them for uh, a project coming up. So anyways, that is all that I have. I'm going to have another video soon, maybe later on this weekend. So anyway, have a great night, guys. I will talk to you later. Bye.